which I'm glad you bring Italy up because Italy is such a fascinating b beyond Garibaldi subject area because it's it you can use it in so many different ways, right? It can be Absolutely. unification, mm -hmm. or it could be like what you have in the book a few times individuals saying, "Well, what do the Italians doing? They're fighting against Austrian tyranny," which by the time of the war is restricted to Venetia as a region. Mm -hmm. So, in part, this kind of speaks to this larger issue that I think you have here is that we're having a large problem with a lot of paradoxes, right? Yeah. Yeah, these are complicated issues. They were complex, complicated, convoluted, even at the time. Mm -hmm. Few of these movements were internally consistent. You know, I talk about my Confederates I study were masters of ideological manipulation, and they were, but few of these movements were ideologically pure, even if they weren't as, you know, far out there as the slavery thing left the Confederates. Um, so yeah, these are complicated, complex issues, even at the time. And we see that in the way that Confederates are responding to and using these issues. So on the one hand, like I say, they're very much interpreting things to advance their own agenda. On the other hand, they do have remarkable nuance and complexity in the way they deal with some of these events. So Italy, as you point out, the Confederates I study, when it helps them, they'll point to Italy as a secession movement. Italy seceded from Austria. When it helps them, they'll point to Italy as a unification movement. The Italian states unified together, the Southern states need to unify together. And so on the one hand, I think it's easy to kind of say, oh, well, they're cherry picking and ignoring the complexity. But on the other hand, on some level, they're using that complexity to their benefit. And they're really drawing on the nuances of nationalism in the middle of the 19th century and really kind of picking apart those nuances to help them make their case.